I've been like going fast pace for the last two-ish weeks, weeks in the spring and summer and so the fall is really about okay we've been like putting on some gas now let's recover a little bit This season is all about transitioning inwards. We came from summer, which is around ovulation to luteal phase. Um, the hormones, there's a big dip in our hormones at this time, and that can be really, we can really feel that shift within this transition. It's like this transition from the young seasons, the very expressive seasons, the very out there season, extrovert, open seasons of spring and summer into returning inwards, returning home. That shift, that transition in between outward and inward uh, can take a little bit of time. And it, if we're not aware of when that's coming for us, it can feel... Um, very unsettling it can feel like oh my god what's going on i can feel a shift in my energy and when that's actually very normal to experience our internal is changing at this time there our hormones are shifting drastically so today i want to talk about this luteal phase and the fall phase of our menstrual cycle i feel like in the past it would be something that I would dread it's a, it's a it's a phase that I would feel like oh no like it's coming or I wouldn't even be aware of it and then I would experience mood swings or um premenstrual uh, syndrome and like just feeling much more slow and like judging myself for feeling more slow and being more slow it's actually a really beautiful season as well like with every season there are going to be shifts and there's going to be a transition from one season to the next and those transitions can be softened and we can make them smoother through knowing what we're heading it into and knowing ourselves into what we're actually going to need in this time what happens in the luteal phase is that after ovulation unless um, the egg was fertilized and you become pregnant um, then it's gonna be released and um, in the next period some women can have sort of like a bit of a down uh, after ovulation and that's just their body being like oh no I didn't reproduce so it can feel like some women could experience like like yeah like lower emotions and more like of a down phase but overall like this is a time where we're just shifting inwards again and in order to come out on the other side of winter into the next spring much more um, with like a gained amount of wisdom and um, batteries archetype that's represented in the fall phase of the moon cycle is like the wise woman it will be like a deeper truth of who we are like the more wild part of ourselves that's a bit unapologetic and that's just truly herself and that's and maybe like less nurturing than the mother that was in the summer it's more of our like true wild selves so here are like the different ways that i'm experiencing my fall season so on a physical level i feel less physically active i'm i can feel like i still want to move my body and I yet I can feel like the energy level of my body is dipping slightly and I just feel like everything is on like um, a lower gear and it's breaking and it's just asking me to slow down along with it so I can feel a little bit cranky at times um, my body will feel a little bit maybe more stiff and less energized and open than it does in the spring summer phase of my month um, and it will ask me to move the body like the body will ask me to move in a more gentle way in a more soothing way in a more where I'm like really present with it and really listening to it because it's telling me hey like this 
I need to slow down. So really like listening to that flow is important. I find that like physically it's a time where I like warmth. So I like uh, warm showers and warm baths and I want to like put more time into my skincare because I can feel like how the hormones can be affecting my skin and I just want to take it more slow. Um, it's a time also where I will enjoy a lot of like yin yoga or like slower types of yoga or still intense but not like as fast paced so i still find that movement is really helpful in this phase and in every phase of the month but like adapting it with how i'm feeling if i go on a run like i'll run but then if i feel tired i i walk um and just like take it at my own pace and if ever I push a little bit much, then my body will tell me. I find I also physically like what I'm craving in this time is like teas and soups and more like soothing foods and drinks, a lot of liquids, more like grounding foods. Hormones are dipping, so physical energy is dipping a little bit as well too. For me, yeah, in this phase, it's really important for me to listen physically how I'm feeling. I've been like going fast pace, for the last two-ish weeks, weeks in the spring and summer and so the fall is really about okay we've been like putting on some gas now let's recover a little bit energetically i feel less social um i'm still gonna feel social but i'll feel social more in like environments where that are more known that are more in my comfort zone where i know some people already or i know the the place um i'll really enjoy one-on-one -on -one moments as well in this phase with other women and or men as well but like really something that's more like intimate not in a sexual way more like this um closeness and feeling really held very like nurturing energy that i gave during my nice summer in the fall that's something i i'm more on the receiving end allowing myself to be a bit more like transitioning from being on the receive the, on the giving end to more the receiving end now and through that knowing where i'm at has really helped me in letting go of the guilt and shame of not being giving as much i feel like sometimes in the spring and summer i'm giving so much and i'm expecting myself to be giving to that level throughout the whole month and the fall is just there as a reminder to be like well well it's also okay to receive in this time you know you've been giving a lot and now um, it's okay for you to to receive and to welcome more love and nurturing into your life yeah letting go of like the self-judgment for not giving like a hundred percent in this time and find that it, it is really important to be able to dance in between both of the those polarities and yeah i'm not able to give as much or i i do not want as well to give as much to others as much as i'm giving myself so this time is about really putting the focus back on myself a little bit or nurturing others but in a different way and give more to myself i feel like i need and want more space maybe like still work with some structure and have a container but have space and room in it to listen to how slow my body wants to go on the emotional side i feel like really this energy of going inwards i'm tapping into more shadow work so it's a really beautiful time for me to tap into like shadow emotions you would call them like fear anger anger is not as present because there's not that's like that fire energy so much in the fall um it feels more like an earth energy sadness fear can be more present around this time and working through like maybe childhood wounds um that are showing up in different emotions is a really good time right now feel sometimes through this feeling of sadness and fear i tend to feel maybe sometimes a little bit more confused and less sure of where i stand but in the same time it also feels like i'm kind of like slowing down in order to find my center again uh, which will happen in the following bleed so it is a beautiful time because it brings up sadness and fear emotions and those emotions are kind of like a gateway to receive more clarity on like my wounded child or the or my shadow self whatever we want to call it because there's this slower pace there's more time for also like observation 
and feeling into these emotions and being with it and obviously you don't have to like feel your emotions all the time like that's why also i love to include a lot of like self-care and not just like feeling the emotion and just finding all the clarity about every single wound that i have giving that nurture that i gave to others in the summer to myself in the fall so as i transition into those colder seasons this like energy emotional um physical like hormonal depth um really is a shortcut to feeling and a shortcut to healing because feeling is healing and that doesn't mean we need to feel all the time um, or and heal all the time but it is a beautiful time if there's anything in particular that you'd like to work on and really create a little cocoon for yourself to feel safe in those emotions because they're okay to be felt and communicating that with the people around of like wow this is where i'm at this is what i'm feeling and experiencing right now i just really want to be held right now and um the people that love you will will support and nurture you to the best of their ability in that moment but that needs to be communicated as well from our side because obviously people can't read our mind or our heart all the time yeah it's a time where i feel sometimes a little bit less focused especially if i try to keep that higher pace if i really embrace that slower pace then i'm still able to focus and be concentrated but it's it's a slower pace and i find that it is a time where i can feel a little bit moody but not as reactive um i'll feel like more sensitive to certain environments and circumstances and then finally on a mental level i find that it is a really beautiful time for me to journal and write whatever comes up in like a feel felt sense so every everything that comes up emotionally if i want to gain clarity on it or like express it and let it out journaling is a really beautiful practice in this time and it is a slower practice so it's it helps and like it really helps me keep myself grounded in what i'm experiencing and really not just feeling but also expressing that feeling through writing especially because i don't feel as social or interactive as much so yeah writing for me is a really good one in in this phase um i find it i'm able to like writing is a, like a little bit of a slower process so I, if i take it slow like things can just like flow out and yeah all those emotions are like kind of can be channeled into writing so it is a time of the month where i'll write like instagram posts or or anything just for myself um <laughs> it's a beautiful time for me to read as well it's not as much about like receiving a lot of knowledge it's like more like this soothing like a book that will really make me feel like held and nurtured and more connected to myself so yeah it's a, a time also where i like i like learning but more so on my own less maybe from other people or just other people that I really feel safe in it's a good time for me to be generating ideas and thoughts and in a more grounded way than i was in the summer and the spring in the summer and spring it's i'm all flushed with all these ideas in the fall it kind of like i'm like okay but what do i actually want to do of everything that came up so it's really like kind of finding the center again and yeah channeling whatever emotions or feelings or inner wisdom that i feel into a plan to then express it later into the physical world having it in a written form uh, it's not the time yet to put it out in the world it's more the time of like putting it out onto paper for me to see and like feel into that yeah kind of draw an idea out of it it's a time where i feel maybe sometimes a little bit less coordinated and that's just a representation often that i'm taking it too fast or i'm not listening to my inner um rhythm so again like really honoring that like slowing down phase and going inwards and i feel mentally quite creative and um and strategic and assertive as well um it's a time where also i just like like to express myself in different ways and explore but within within my own cocoon yeah a time maybe where there's more of that like yeah that wild side of myself is more present and really seeing it as beautiful just as beautiful as the light side um so it's a really um beautiful season for me to really learn to embrace and love that more shadow side and dark side of myself and really nurturing and loving and feeling compassionate for those emotions or feelings 
or truths that are being revealed within. My advice for anyone in that phase and for myself as well is to really communicate where we're at. Um, and it's we're not in a time where we want to adapt to others and it's a time where we want to be met where we're at and I feel like yeah communication in this time with our lovers, our partners, our work colleagues, our friends, our families is really important to, to really communicate in a sensitive and clear way where we're at and where we where we want to be met. I find that like women tend to understand each other a lot because we go through this every month and so we can relate to one another's experiences even if our symptoms can differ from one another. Um, with men I feel like this there's a, a discussion and um, yeah open conversation that sometimes needs to occur um, because they don't work on this monthly cycle like we do they work more on a 24-hour cycle for them their their cycle goes through quite faster much faster than ours so maybe for them it could feel at times that we're like stuck in one phase which is not true at all we're just it's just our cycle is just a little bit slower and also deeper so really communicating with the man in our lives of wow this is this is where i'm at and that's important for every single season there can be this like mutual understanding of one another and it cannot happen unless we really share and also it's also like that person has to show interest um but I, it's something we can we can initiate that as women and i think that's a that's a beautiful initiative to, to take and um, pr being proactive in that sense. And if you feel really scared to do that, maybe ask yourself if there is a part of you that's feeling fear about being on that receiving end, um, feeling fear around having space held for you. And why is that? Is that linked to the person you're with or is, does it stem further away um, in your past, in your childhood? So. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful time to like reflect on those things and um, and communicate boundaries in this time. Really communicate boundaries and needs is really important because of that sensitivity we feel. And um, yeah, I um, hope this video was helpful. I'm really enjoying filming the series. I'll see you next week for the winter phase. Um, until then, feel free to share down below in the comments any symptoms that you're experiencing in your fall season, any like tips or anecdotes or stories you'd like to share, um, any like self-care habits that you love treating yourself with in that time of the month. I feel like that would be very inspiring for everyone to read through and uh, yeah, inspire each other to like really slow down and look inwards and see, oh wow, what are the little like rituals and habits and um, things that I can do for myself and uh, yeah I think it would be beautiful for everyone to to share if you're feeling called to obviously and yeah thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next week for the final season which is the winter which is our bleeding time and I'm really excited for this one so I'll see you soon bye